Doctor, thanks for your time today. I want to ask you what you saw as your work as a psychiatrist that that prompted you to fight for this measure. I saw the consequences of racial trauma in my patients, and you know it was very tragic because they didn't feel safe. They didn't feel like there was a safe place for them. They didn't feel like they belonged. They felt like something was wrong with them. They felt like they should be other than what they are. They had nightmares. Um, which you know robbed them of a good sleep. They had less energy. They felt less engaged. They felt more numb, more withdrawn. Basically, it robbed them of their childhood. And I don't. I think all children deserve to feel safe. All children deserve to feel that they belong. What kind of material would you like to see about the Asian American history that is taught now、um, once this begins? I would like to show how Asian American and Pacific Islanders contributed to the building of this country. We're invisible in curriculum, and we would like—I would like it to be known all the many ways we've contributed. For example, most people don't know that we have birthright citizenship due to Wong Kim Ark. He was a Chinese American, and he was going to get kicked out of the country due to the Chinese Exclusion Act, but he fought it all the way to Supreme Court, and he won birthright citizenship because he was born here. And because of him, millions of people have birthright citizenship. Most people don't know that.、Um, most people don't know that ESL was due to the fight of Asian Americans to be included in education. Most people don't know that Title VII and Title IX, the reasons why girls can play sports in school, are from Patsy Mink, the first、um, woman senator of color. You know,、um, people don't know that the. Um, Same-sex marriage act was、um, the first case was from an Asian American and Pacific Islander couple, you know. So we've had a lot of different contributions to our history and have helped make this country better. And people don't know that I didn't know that until this year. And I wish I didn't have to wait till my forties to learn this information. And children pay attention to whose stories are told in school and whose stories aren't. And it shows how valued you are, you know. And we want our kids to know we are valued. We do contribute, and we do belong. And not only our kids, we want their classmates to know that, because as Asian Americans, we're often seen as forever foreigners. One of my friends,、um, she's a fifth generation Chinese American. Her grandfather actually built the transcontinental railroad, and she's still treated like a forever foreigner. And she wanted to get、um, dis- her daughter had a learning disability, and she wanted to get an IEP for her child. And she asked the school for it, and the school told her, "Your daughter doesn't have a learning disability. You're just a tiger mom." You know, so these kinds of stories are wrong, and we need to fight them. We need to fight for our belonging. Thank you for your time today. No problem. Thank you so much for having me.